If you ask me, I would readily attribute 90% of my trading success to whatever I have learned from Richard Wyckoff. And the rest 10% I will attribute to all the mistakes I have made in my trading, which taught me some very important lessons. If you want to turn your trading around, then this is one person whose work you must study. And I mean must. But who is Richard Wyckoff? Well, Richard Wyckoff was a legendary trader from early 1900s. Not only was he a good trader himself, he also had a knack of understanding how other great traders of his time were trading and making their profits. He studied some of the great traders of his time. Jesse Livermore, E. H. Harriman, Keeney, Otto Kahn and J.P. Morgan to name a few. Now, each of these great traders can be taken up as a subject of study by themselves and it will improve your trading by a vast amount. Imagine how strong the method would be which was designed by Richard Wyckoff by studying all these great traders and their trading behavior and then combining it with his own trading experience. In his days, Richard Wyckoff made some serious money trading the markets and wrote extensively to help traders. So what exactly is this Wyckoff trading method? One thing that I absolutely hate is when People try to understand or explain things based on their own level of understanding. I myself have been guilty of this thing in the past and I have paid a heavy price for making this mistake. So my only request to you is don't treat the work of Wyckoff as some trading method system or some way to find, you know, entry and exits in the markets and make money off it. Please understand, if you seriously focus on the work that has been put forth by Richard Wyckoff, you will make so much more money that you can dream of today. So what I'm going to do in this video is give you an overview of the fantastic method that is proposed by Richard Wyckoff. It changed my outlook towards market completely. Now trading is as much art as it is science, if not more. Let me prove this to you. Just look at any car running around on the road. There are thousands of them. Each one is more or less similar to other. The working principle is basically same. This is the result of science because science is precise, accurate and repeatable. Contrast the number of cars and the design of a car to something like a Taj Mahal or the painting of Mona Lisa. I mean, there are so many pieces of arts that were made just once and they could not be repeated and they are priceless today. So focus on the art part of trading and Wyckoff's method and you will benefit greatly in your trading. Let us now look in detail at the artwork created by Wyckoff. Now there are just four basic phases to what we now call as Wyckoff cycles. These cycles pertain to how markets develop. The four phases of those cycles are accumulation, markup, distribution and markdown. Now these phases are best understood on a whiteboard and subsequently when we go to a chart. Let us quickly go through how Wyckoff cycle phases for. Let's say the market is in a downtrend, it's coming down. At some point in time, some demand comes in. Maybe the sellers use it to sell even more and then you get a selling climax. Then the market recovers, moves sideways and Finally, it tests one more time and then starts to move up and go higher and higher. First and foremost, this whole sideways range form, this is called as accumulation by Wyckoff. This accumulation has many internal phases which comes under the purview of Wyckoff market schematics which we will look at in a later video. Then the trend reverses, breakout happens and market starts to move up. This is called as the mark up phase. At some point in time, you will realize that someone tries to book profits. Some supply comes in and market again goes into a small sideways consolidation only to break out again and continue the up move. So the mark up phase started paused for a while in this zone and then again the markup resume. This pause is called as reaccumulation. So this is how a downtrend reverses into an uptrend. 
this is the nifty chart you can see there was this downtrend and then we had the first consolidation and then the market reversed and started going higher there were intermediate pauses like this one like this one and now again we are seeing a pause and we are not really sure whether this is a bigger distribution or just another reaccumulation so let me uh, mark the phases for you this obviously was a downtrend which then met some buyers here demand started coming in and this extended sideways phase can be termed as accumulation then this up move that started can be termed as markup this is another markup this is another markup and finally we had the last one so we had four markups and all these markup phases were interspaced by reaccumulation this was another reaccumulation and this is another reaccumulation now what this phase is whether it is a full fledged distribution or just another reaccumulation this question needs to be answered unfortunately there is just no way to answer it beforehand we will have to give market sufficient time to develop and then make itself clear whether it is just a pause in the uptrend or it is a distribution and a downtrend is likely to start after looking at wyckoff market cycles now it is time to look at wyckoff market schematics the great thing about wyckoff method is that he did not stop at just discovering the different phases in market cycles but he went one step ahead and actually studied the internal structure of each and every phase in the markets now i don't want to discuss all the internal structures of each and every phase in this particular video it is just simply out of the scope of this video but i have discussed all these things in great detail in my course on advanced technical analysis which not only includes wyckoff but also looks at three other core trading philosophies which will help you improve your market understanding to the highest level possible i sincerely urge you to check them out on the website aniruddhadeshpande.com that is flashing on your screen right now and i hope that you found this quick introduction to wyckoff helpful and you are intrigued to pursue the topic further i plan to make much more videos on this topic going forward So thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see you in the next one